Hello and welcome to Oracle Enterprise Manager 12C installation tutorial. Um, in today's session, we will install um, OEM 12C on Linux 64-bit um, um, server. If you have any questions regarding this tutorial, uh, please uh, either comment or send an email on the address listed below. Let's go ahead and get started. So um, I already have a uh, Linux 64-bit server available. Uh, first, let me show you how to obtain the media for OEM 12C. We'll go to oracle.com. Under Downloads, you see there's a section here called Enterprise Manager Management. And uh, right below there, there's a um, Oracle Enterprise Manager link. Once you click here, it will take you to the download page, and here you should first select the operating system. So we'll go ahead and click for Linux x86 64-bit. Hit Accept. And these three zip files are the one which you need to download and stage on the Linux server. Um, I have already downloaded them and extracted them on the server. So I will go ahead and open a terminal session. And once you unzip all three zip files, uh, this is a content within all three zip files. So at this stage, we will go ahead and do the run installer. And this will start the installation process. OK. Um, let's go ahead and uncheck this. If you like, you can enter your support credentials here. Hit next. Yes. Uh, we will skip this and hit next. This is the inventory location you want to specify. You can change it, but we're leaving it to default. Okay, in this stage, it's pretty much um, it checked for all the requirement um, on the operating system level, and at this time, we do not have any failures or warnings. So let's go ahead and click Next. Um, we can either uh, create a new Enterprise Manager system, upgrade an existing Enterprise Manager system, or install software only. We will uh, choose Option 1, and then we will click on Advanced. You can go with a simple option as well. All right, let's go ahead and specify the middleware home location. You can choose any location you like. We will go with this format. And then the agent base directory. And this is the host name for the OMS. Uh, and it is recommended to provide a fully qualified host name. So I've been, I will go ahead and enter the domain name. OK, let's go ahead and click Next. Okay, this is just a warning message that we have changed the host name. Um, these are all the options and the plugins available as part of the installation. Um, it's up to you whether you want additional plugins, and this is a stage where you can enable them. If you don't want to enable them now, you can uh, install them and enable them later on once the OMS and the OEM is fully complete. Okay, let's go ahead and specify the WebLogic um, password. And also enter the Node Manager password. And again, these are new passwords you're setting up. Okay, and let's go ahead and click Next. Okay. Um, before you install Oracle Enterprise Manager 12, so you uh, need a database or you know installed and created uh, that's where the OMS uh, or the OEM uh, will install its schemas um, so we already have a database created so I'm going to go ahead and enter the host name for that database port for the database SID and sys password okay um, you have deployment size options small medium large I'm going to keep it a default small 
Okay. Now, as we can see, we have a connection problem here. So I'm going to go ahead and see what the issue is. Okay. Um, so I have checked in the or in our scenario, the issue was that we had uh, we need to specify a fully qualified um, DB host name for it to connect to the database um, because that's what's configured in the listener configuration file as well. So uh, let's go ahead and click next. Okay, uh, these are a couple of warnings on shared pool size and redo log file size. Um, uh, it is recommended that uh, we keep it to the, um, the limits it's recommended here. I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and we can always adjust them later on. Okay, let's go ahead and specify sysmen password. Um, and rest, we will keep it all default. All right. So this is a section where, if you like, you can uh, change the ports for different components um, as per your need, or you can import a static ports.ini file um, if you have any custom file. Um, I'm keeping everything to default. Okay. Um, this is a summary before we go ahead and click install. So it, it is recommended that you review uh, the summary and make sure all the information provided here is correct. So let's go ahead and click install. All right. So um, now we are in the process of the installation of um, Oracle Enterprise Manager 12C. It will go through various phases of the installation process to complete the installation. All right, currently it's copying files uh, to the middleware home and installing Oracle WebLogic server. Okay, it's starting the um, start the uh, configuration state. Okay, it's about halfway complete. Okay, it's configuring the OMS. All right, it's uh, currently working on plugins, deployment, and configuration, about 70% complete. All right, currently it is at the last step of agent configuration assistant. All right, so we are at a section where we need to run the root script. So we will go ahead and on the root script, I already have a session open. Just switching my session to the root session. And I'm going to pick up the location. So we have an inventory and also the Fusion middleware. Let's go ahead and run the all root as such. All right, so the root execution is complete. Let's go ahead and click OK here. So this is the summary of the um, installation. Uh, we can see here the Enterprise Manager 
cloud control URL. We can also see the admin server URL and we can see the admin server host name and the port and some additional information at the bottom. So at this time, um, we will go ahead and um, log into the enterprise manager and make sure that um, everything looks good. Okay, I have um, gone to the same URL which we just saw earlier in the summary screen. Uh, let's go ahead and log in as sysman, which is the super user in Enterprise Manager. Okay, um, for the first time when you log in, you have to uh, accept the license agreement. Let's go ahead and accept. Okay. Um, and then let's go ahead and select the Enterprise uh, Manager homepage. You have different options. You have the welcome page. You have all targets. You have sitemap, summary, databases, and incidents. So there, there are various screens available to you. And this is the home page every time you log in, and you can always change this. So we will go ahead and select the summary. Okay, as you can see that um, we are now on the home page, which we just selected. And we have successfully created Oracle Enterprise Manager 12C. And um, as you can see that this is a summary page. Currently, there are a total of 17 targets, um, actually a total of 25 targets, as you can see here. Um, we don't have any external databases or middleware or different applications configured at this stage. And this completes the tutorial for Oracle Enterprise Manager 12C installation. In our next tutorial, Coming soon, we will explore different options within OEM 12C, and we will go ahead and add various types of databases, applications, uh, set up alerts, and get email notifications. Thank you so much for taking the time and watching the tutorial.